Situated atop a hill on the outskirts of the charming town of Badala in rural New South Wales, stands a historic church that is considered one of the most splendidly apportioned in the area. From the tower of this church, visitors can enjoy breathtaking views of the coastal hinterland. This church holds a fascinating history, deeply intertwined with the Mort family. T.S. Mort, born in Bolton, Lancashire, England in 1816, made his way to Australia in 1837. A true pioneer in Australian dairying, Mort established the Bodala Estate, ventured into engineering and shipbuilding in Balmain, and played a significant role in the wool industry and other enterprises. In his final years, he dedicated himself to developing a process for freezing and exporting Australian meat to meet the demands of England. Tragically, he passed away on May 9, 1878, due to an illness he contracted while caring for one of his workers. He was laid to rest in the cemetery of the beloved Bodala estate. The church was designed by the renowned architect Edmund T. Blackett, known for his work on the cathedrals of St. Andrews in Sydney and St. Saviour's in Goulburn. The construction was overseen by builder Joseph Ziegler of Maruya, with the granite used in the building sourced from the estate itself. The intricate hand-wrought iron hinges and straps on the entrance door, as well as the stone font inside, were all designed by E.T. Blackett. A par-close screen separates the extension from the original part of the nave, ensuring a cosy setting for smaller congregations. The foundation stone of this magnificent church was laid on March 18, 1880 by Thomas Mort's widow, Marianne, his second wife. The church stands as a testament to the rich history and legacy of the Mort family in the Bodala community. The woodwork throughout the church is crafted from oak, giving it a timeless and elegant appearance. Imported from England, the stained glass windows, chancel tiles, unique marble mosaic reredos and pipe organ add to the grandeur of the space. Adorning the chancel arch are the final words of Thomas Mort. Thine eyes shall see the king in his beauty. Beyond this arch, the stunning stained glass windows depicting the transfiguration illuminate the sanctuary. These windows were generously gifted by the people of Badala in honour of T.S. Mort and his wife, Teresa Shepherd. The exquisite hand-embroidered furnishings within the church were meticulously crafted by Mort's daughters. The festal altar frontal was created from Teresa Mort's wedding dress, with her wedding ring even incorporated into the stem of the silver gilt chalice. The oak light standards in the chancel were fashioned from trees grown on Ernest Mort's property in Surrey, serving as a touching memorial to their youngest son, the Reverend Ernest Mort. The construction of the church cost £13,000, a significant investment that reflects the dedication and commitment of the Mort family. Numerous tablets line the walls, commemorating both the Mort family members and past worshippers who have contributed to the rich history of the church.